All right, so what I want to do real quick is see if you can take a adapter to take and put it on a cell phone and hook it up to a telescope to be able to take pictures and video of and see how well it works. And while we're doing that, we're going to be using a pair of binoculars. Now, real quick, with binoculars, you have to have the smaller diameter eyepiece, meaning like an inch or an inch and a quarter. And these are, what I'm using are some old Nikons. And they're actually some quality glass nothing real cheap and the scope I'm going to be using is a 127 millimeter a 5 inch Orion Apex and we'll use a 25 millimeter eyepiece now these eyepieces you gotta pull the rubber eye cup off to fit these uh, adapter on an adapter I'll put you a link down below I bought this just to try it out it's a uh, Mead, there's the part number right there. I'll show you the link. But one thing, I've, I've already got it done, did it, it does work, so that's why I'm putting the video up. But when you're hooking a phone up, and I'm using a Galaxy S10, when you put your phone on it, this has got three cameras, or uh, three eyepieces. You get everything set up, and I'll mainly be using the middle one, but what you do is you get it, everything set up on your camera, get the eye, the lens right in the middle of this, and tighten this, squeeze it, tighten it down real tight, and then this side here is to push the lens or the eyepiece or the adapter that holds the eyepiece down on the phone. And once you get that done, you literally can take your eyepiece, put it in your scope, and then you put that on and tighten it down with three different screws. And it works. Uh, that, that's the short version of putting everything together and using it. So now we're going to go out and try it out and see how well it works. But here's my setup. I'm going to use the Galaxy S10 coupled to this Orion telescope and got it hooked up on there pretty good. And I do have a, a 45 in there to erect the image. So, show you what this looks like. Now for starters, we're going to concentrate on a fire number sign, which is way out. You might not even be able to see it on this camera. About 250, 300 yards out down that road. And zoom in on that. Check that out. That's zoomed in. That's about 250 yards out, that sign. But I'm digitally zooming in with the on video mode for my Galaxy S10 Plus. And there's normal mode there. That's still quite good. I got the erector, the right angle lens in the camera. So I'm impressed with it. You're not going to get rid of that ring, the circle view, because the lens is so far away from the eyepiece. A lens on the camera and I don't think there's any adapters out there that would allow it to be the full thing but if you zoom in you can expect that I think that's pretty good actually for amount of zoom on this thing we are going to attempt to take a little sliver of the moon uh, it's high up in the sky we'll see what happens here uh, there's the moon during broad daylight because my camera doesn't have no manual modes on it I can't adjust anything too much. Picture mode, I can do some adjustments, but first I want to zoom in and see what happens. That's digitally zooming in, and you literally can see a crater huge like on there. Wasn't that cool or what? Let me try to adjust this. I have to say it's pretty high quality there for the most part. A little bit of washed out in the middle. We're not going to get away from that, I don't think. There's the moon at digitally two power on this thing. Uh, just a sliver of it. And it is daylight yet. It's pretty neat though. Look at that. And now. We're going to zoom in on an animal right by that 
farm across the road, which that farm's pushing a half a mile away. I don't know for sure how far it is, 700, 800 yards. And past that, way up on that hill, is a deer stand. And we'll zoom in on that. Actually, on that farm, which is about 700 yards out or more, that's a beef cow out in the field. That's a long ways away. Pretty awesome. That's with a 25 millimeter lens on this thing. But just to give you the example, that silo is right there. Now we're to digitally zoom in with the S10. <laughs> Look at that. Pretty neat, huh? And right there is that deer stand that is probably a good 850 yards away. If I had to guess, that's a solid half a mile away. If I were to step on my cement, of course my tripod moves, but look at that. You could tell if somebody was in there. Good half a mile away. A telescope adapter for the phone will work if you got a small telescope. Look at that. Believe it or not, there's Jupiter in its moons through this Galaxy S10 Plus and that Orion scope. How about that, huh? That is with a 25 millimeter eyepiece in. This is looking through the Galaxy S10 Plus itself. Now let's hook it up to the binoculars. All right, here's the farm with the eight power Nikon binoculars. Hard to hold it real steady, but you can. All right, next test, same thing, through the S10 Plus. We'll hook it up to the binoculars to look out towards that tree that's about 250 yards out. Well, there's that tree about 250 yards out. Works quite well. And that hillside up there is about 250 yards. Let's hook up to the binoculars and look there to see if there is some wildlife or something up along that edge if you could possibly see them. That wood line actually uh there was wildlife up there, you'd see it quite easily. So it does work quite well with these little binoculars. So that's what you can expect. I am quite impressed with that. If you don't have a good camera for a telescope, get this adapter and use your phone. Pretty awesome.